Musa Casacabo and bienvenidos to Avid Diva, the channel where we talk about the journey of women of a certain age and what we find interesting. Now, today I decided to talk a little bit about numbers because if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you might have noticed that when I make an accountability video, I tend to show you both Fitbit and iPhone numbers and they never match rarely do they match there are many reasons for that I have the Fitbit on the entire time I don't necessarily use the phone the entire day so that might be part of the reason obviously when I wake up in the morning I get out of bed I jump in the bathroom or go to the laundry to get clothes and whatnot I don't have the iPhone with me I only have the Fitbit so usually supposedly the Fitbit is supposed to have higher numbers than the iPhone. That isn't always the case. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I was noticing this morning, not the difference in numbers because that doesn't bother me. I know it's going to be a difference in numbers, but that the numbers don't tell you the whole story. Now, the Fitbit has the ability to tell you how many zones I hit and it's a long convoluted conversation there, but basically what it means is it will tend to measure anything between 109 and 149, 120 I think it is, and 149 as a certain amount of intensity, and then anything over 150 is a different intensity. I have yet to watch me do anything like super high, even when I'm jogging, but the, again, it doesn't give you the whole story. I was really really excited this morning when I went for my usual walk it's about three three and a half miles and I decided to jog for a little bit of it if you've been here before you know that jogging is not my forte I have tried many ways and many times to start a jogging routine but I really suck at running I absolutely suck at running now I purchased actual running shoes the last time I was at um, the store I went ahead and bought actual running shoes as opposed to walking running shoes. There is a big difference, majorly in the weight of the actual shoe. I had no idea the difference was going to be this huge. And when I went jogging the first time with the actual running shoes, I almost started crying because the difference was really big. And for somebody younger, it might not seem like much, but for somebody as old as me, Knowing that my, I don't even know what the name of it is, it's the bone. Oh my God, I forgot the name of it. It's the ankle. That's the bone, the ankle. Knowing that my ankles are probably not going to hurt as much because I'm not trying to lift that much weight when I'm jogging, I'm telling you it was a dream. I felt like I was walking and jogging in a cloud. So today, I ended up jogging a little bit and just so you understand where I'm coming from, I had, I think it was Feb, no, March. March, I exercised six days. That was it. I didn't do much that month. I was in a flare up and I didn't do a lot. Last month, which was April, by the time we were halfway through the month, I had already outdone the entire month of uh, March. So I was really excited about that. May is four days old and I've already exercised three days. So I'm really feeling like I'm getting better, like I'm getting healthier. I still have the freaking 30 pounds I gained when I quit smoking. 22 pounds I gained when I quit smoking. So I'm still working on those. But I was really excited this morning and I decided to go jogging for a little bit. And I ended up jogging four times during the walk. And the first two times, which are the ones that I care about because they were the ones in, it, I wasn't, I was halfway through the exercise. The first one, I did it for two minutes and seven seconds. And the second one, I did it for two minutes and 10 seconds. Now the other two, because it was closer to quitting time for me, I believe I did an, a minute and a half jog and then I was almost done for the day. But I really wanted to make the two minutes. <laughs> so I went jogging again and I actually jogged for another minute. So it was, if you add those two together, it was a two and a half. But here's the thing. The longest I've ever jogged is a minute and a half. 
I can do it seven, eight, nine times in one walk. But I can't, for some reason, there's something in my brain that's not there yet. I'm, I'm really not there yet. But to see me, because what I do is I play music, on, just, which is why I carry the iPhone. I play music and I start jogging when the song starts. So that's easier for me to tell, even if I don't look at the iPhone, how long I've done it because I recognize the song and I know exactly where I stopped. I didn't have to do that today. I actually looked at the phone when I was stopping so that I know exactly how many minutes I had done it. I'm not going to lie to you. The first time I noticed that I had done over two minutes, I thought I was going to die right there because I couldn't believe it. And the best part about it is that even though I was a little out of breath, I think I could have gone for 15 more seconds if I wanted to. Now you might be wondering why I don't. And the answer of that is twofold. Number one, I since I want to say since Thursday. Today is Wednesday. Last Thursday, I started getting sick. Now, not my usual IBS flare-up sick. I just started having a hard time breathing. I don't have the Rona. Don't don't start. What happens is at this time of the year, I get allergies, like really bad allergies. And I have to basically yawn in order to get air into my lungs. I used to think it was that I was allergic to my dog because since he died, I hadn't had this the entire year last year, I didn't have it. So I was beginning to wonder if maybe it was that I was allergic to the dog and that's why it hurt so bad. But as it turns out, it just came with back with a vengeance this month. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't jog till exhaustion because I don't want to get my lungs even more tired than they are. The second reason is just a matter of not losing form. Now, I'm not big on form. If you've ever seen me jogging, you would know that I have no idea what I'm doing. But I do know that if I keep a certain pace between my step and my breathing, and I try not to go too far out of it, I can jog a little longer which is the reason why I think I was able to jog for two minutes. And those are the kinds of things that when I make the videos, I show you all the beautiful shots of the sunrise, I show you the birds, sometimes I even show you, and if you pay attention to the one where the blue water is, you will notice someone in the water. Yeah, one of my babies was there today. But if you look at that, you don't get the full story. And I don't tell you either, unless I actually posted something on Twitter, which today I didn't, you wouldn't know. And that to me is the most important thing about this journey. If you don't know, I have an event that I want to do before I turn 60. I'm not gonna get into the specifics, not yet. But in order for me to be able to get through that, I need to learn to run. At least for more than a mile without stopping. And I think, this is a great beginning. Now, if you're doing something, whether it's exercise or anything like that, that's different for you, you're trying something new. You're doing something that you don't think people your age should be doing or attempting. Leave me a comment below and let me know what it is. I would love to cheer you on. Thank you so much for watching and have a fabulous day.